Hey, Muffin here. Welcome back to the channel. Had a subscriber request to do premium tanks versus collectible tanks. Now, this was a little bit of an interesting situation. I really didn't think too much of it until I started putting the room together and then realized there are no tier 8 or tier 9 collectible tanks. There's just a big gap from tier 7 to tier 10. So in order to make sure that battles were fair, any of the subscribers that were in the room could basically choose any type of tank they want. I just had to make sure that one team had the same balanced amount of tiers uh, as the other, just to make sure that it was fair. So it took a little bit of time to comb through. I knew I know a lot of people wanted to play tier eight premium tanks. Um, so <laughs> I apologize for that just because we did not have any uh, tier eight or tier nine collectible tanks to help balance each side. So um, going into best out of three rounds showdown of premium tanks versus collectible tanks. And we did actually a video a while back of doing premium tanks versus um, the tech tree tanks. So like for example, on one team you'd have the Luva and then on the other team you'd have like the Tiger II. So almost like against their counterpart. And if I remember correctly, the premium tanks had won. But with this genre of collector tanks, um, it was actually quite curious to see how exactly this would turn out. Now I want to give a huge shout out. Garrett has been super helpful in putting these videos together. And also, you guys are what makes this channel super awesome um, for the help of these videos we do. And also a lot of the funny videos um, that we do see on Discord uh, sometimes as well. So this would have been hilarious. I was watching this and with the Smasher being so OP, it would have been way funny if somehow against all these tanks, the Smasher still won. We would have truly seen how OP this beast really is. But these players are playing quite smart. There's not a whole lot to do or not a whole lot the Smasher can do here. And... Uh, yeah, getting pretty wrecked here by the tier 10. So great try there. But the premium tanks have taken the first round. We'll go in here to round two on Yukon. And really, is in terms of tier 10 premium tanks, I think there's only two, which is the Chieftain and the 121B. But we have a lot more tier 10 collectible tanks like the VK90, um, the AMX um, Lee 54, the T22. So there was a lot more to choose from in some variety. Um, so yeah, that, that made it actually a little interesting. So huge shout out also to those players who had come in trying to play tier 5 tanks even. Um, in these matchups against other tier 10 vehicles. That is tough. So great shot there. Chieftain is a really good vehicle. I'll be honest with you, even though I know it's very loved by a lot of uh, the YouTuber community, when this tank first came out, I was very disappointed by it and its armor profile and how easy it was um, to get penetrated and thinking it might have been able to perform a little bit better. Now they have buffed it since then. It's still a good tank. I actually do like it. And it's very capable with that gun depression. Uh, very, very good for a map like this and being able to use those hills and get those shots in. Now, collector tanks struggling just a little bit here with already two of their tanks down.
And we do try to switch around the people that want to participate. Um, everyone is more than welcome to join this training room. I do apologize for those. And I do thank you for your patience as um, there was just a couple things just trying to figure out. And I think uh, my internet uh, kept uh, cutting out a little bit on me. But um, everyone is more than welcome to join these rooms. Love to have, uh, love to have you. Um, in order to know when we do these rooms, um, you can join our Discord <clears throat> and um, go ahead and get the movie crew roll, and that way you can know when we do these rooms. T-22 medium takes out the chieftain. However, there's a lot more tanks here. And I think maybe just a little bit too many hit points to burn through. Uh oh, trying to back up here. Not a whole lot he can do. Unfortunate miss. Can he get the ram kill? Yes, he can. Still three tanks to go. That chieftain behind him. Great DPM. And that is it. So premium tanks are still coming out on top. We're going to see if this turns in a, into a total annihilation here in the next round. Okay, last round happens to be on Falls Creek. So obviously still have the Chieftain in 121B for the premium side. This one, we do have the tier five I was mentioning earlier, uh, Garen and the Angry Connor. We also have uh, the uh, Gargoyle. So, uh, just had to give them a shout out because that's very, very difficult. Especially if you're playing in a battle with such high tiers. Now, it was interesting to me that Wargaming hasn't had uh, any tier eight or nine collectible tanks um, at this point. I, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if they're going to be adding some of those in the future. I'm sure they will. But uh, I didn't even think about it until putting this video together. Ooh, angry Connor able to get some shots off. The girl in Penzer IS. Wow, getting some pretty good bounces. Actually, very impressive, even from that 121B. Sometimes it's actually quite impressive what some of the lower tier tanks are capable of when you put them against even some higher tier tanks. And things are not looking too good for the collector tanks, unfortunately. This may be an annihilation already. They're down to just two tanks left. And this poor pike. <laughs> oh no. Does have one teammate left, but things are not looking too good.
just see the swarm of premium tanks coming towards him, just thinking, oh no, this is it. And wow, able to get the angry Connor right there. <laughs> oh, and that is it. So let me know what your thoughts are in terms of uh, premium tanks versus collector tanks. These were just some of my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid. This is The Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.